something to say, something to say. Ooh. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is our house one, and it's time for just a really quick, quick tip. All right, so if you follow on social media, you know that I'm getting arms deep into this new armor of Typhoon. So again, I haven't figured out if it's pronounced Typhoon or Typhon. I'm going with Typhoon until somebody corrects me. All right, anyway, so I've been doing some quick, just quick inspections because I haven't had a chance to do my complete thorough teardown like I usually do. Um, it's got the new ESC in uh, for the warranty replacement, which is awesome. And was just about to button up the car when I noticed something strange. So lifts up the tires. And if I turn the axle together, you notice I can get, you hear the motor chugging along, but the rear wheels aren't turning. It's like, wait a second. So I checked everything. And if I turn here, power does go through both sides. But basically, if you think about it, this thing is getting no action off the center diff. There's basically no resistance in here. Now, I've heard that these armas have a problem where oftentimes these discs either go dry or they ship dry. So it's looking like that diff is either bum. Well, it's probably not bum. So it looks like this diff is probably bone dry inside of here. So when I take it apart to do a teardown, I'm going to have to address that. So I'm going to need to figure out what the proper weight of, of, um, of lube to put in here for the type of running I'm going to do, which of course is a challenge because I still haven't figured out if this is going to be a pure basher or speed runner or just kind of going back and forth. But anyway, so that brings up the question of what is the center diff anyway? So if you look at this car, you can see that you've got the motor here in the middle and then you've got the big spur gear. I should turn it this way. So you've got the motor here in the middle. You've got the big spur gear, which you can see at this angle here. And then you've got the pinion. So what happens is when the motor turns, it turns the pinion and then that goes, that's a gear reduction. So it's, so the motor here comes out and it spins anywhere from, let's say 10 to probably up to about 60,000 RPM. So that, so the revolutions that come out from here need to be slowed down or reduced in order to feed down to the wheels, which for like a 30, 40, 50 mile an hour car are more like three, four, 5,000 RPM. So you have to do a gear reduction. So at each step of the line, the same amount of power happens. So as RPM, since power is, is RPM times torque, every time you lose RPMs, you increase in torque. So by going down with this big gear reduction, you end up uh, multiplying the torque that goes to the car or goes to the wheels, which means that you have enough power where you can do stuff like this. Now, problem, if you have a center diff and your diff isn't working, what happens is when this pinion starts to spin and starts to spin this spur, there's supposed to be some resistance inside of here that tries to make both output shafts have about the same amount of power output. If there's no, if there's no resistance inside of this differential, what happens is all the power will go down to the part that has the least resistance. What that means is that if there is any one wheel in your car that doesn't have a lot of traction, all the spin, all the power in the motor is going to get turned into spin and just go right to that point. So what happens is, so watch this. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to turn this wheel. So I'm going to turn this wheel. One wheel's off the ground. You can hear the motor turning. Actually, hit, now you can see the motor turn. But the car's not going anywhere. So if you get any wheel that gets off the ground and you don't have a properly tuned sooner disc, you've got nothing. You've got no power. This thing's going to be a dog. So what that means, oh, and especially because this is an Arma. This is a, a king basher. This is wheelie popping torque. But what will happen with this car with a dead center diff is that as soon as one of these, as soon as one of the axles gets off the ground, it's going to diff out. It's going to sit there and it's going to spin. Well, actually, these are going to spin together, but you're not going to get any torque to the rear wheels. You ain't going to get no wheelies out of this thing. This is a dead wheelie machine. That's probably why this guy get, got rid of this thing.
because the center diff doesn't have any resistance in here. So what can you do to fix it? That's really easy. You've seen uh, before I've done differential rebuilds. I've done it for my Slash 4x4 and I've done it for my Rustler. Differentials are differentials. This center diff is actually built very similar to the Slash differential. I'm going to do a complete rebuild of it when I get in. So basically you take it apart and when you put it back together, you put an appropriate weight gear fluid inside of here or appropriate weight diff fluid in here that will send the right amount of power to both axles so you can get your wheelies or whatever you want to do. The thing is, if you go too thick with this, basically it's going to lock both, diff both sides together. If you're on flat surfaces or speed running, you might want that. But basically with this thing, what the reason why there's a center differential in the first place is because it acts like a traction control system. So ideally, like if one axle gets bogged down and starts to spin, you want to allow each wheel to move at a little bit different RPM to match the traction that it has, but you don't want all your torque to go in any particular direction. Because like I just showed you, have you ever saw in the movie, My Cousin Vinny with positive traction? If you got one wheel that spins, it's just gonna sit there spinning and nothing's gonna happen. You want to have some resistance in here and you want to have some resistance in each of the axle differentials so that when you put the power down there's enough of resistance so it acts like a limited slip differential so these guys are going to spin somewhat together so that you're not just going to be sitting there spinning out and doing ones instead of doing 11s all right guys i hope that made sense our house 21 sign out remember the mantra fly fix fly break it fixes do it all over again and in this case you're going to be seeing me fix these centers diffs or actually fix all the diffs and make sure that they have the right level of fluid and the right weight of fluid to get the right kind of performance that this car needs as always remember the mantra fly fix fly break it fix it do it all over again and don't forget to check me out on facebook instagram and all the other social media out there and if you got some time to kill don't forget to check me out on the rc physics sandbox so just come in hang out talk about rc or just life all right guys our house 21 peace